go. Make sure I say welcome. Okay, welcome, y'all. Well, today I don't know how Susan is suffering me into doing this, but this is Little Fairy from Crazy Lizzie's Farm, whatever you want to call that thing. And she wanted homemade biscuits, so she had, said she hadn't done a video in a while, so she volunteered me, which I didn't know she was going to volunteer me, but let's try to do this. She's over there laughing at me. So funny. Okay, I got two cups of self rising flour and, and, oh, did I tell y'all I making homemade biscuits? Anyhow. I got two cups of self rising flour, and I like sifting it because it seems like it makes the biscuit rise more. So here we go. Sift, 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 sift. She can fast forward this part. You know, when you're not on video, it sounds like it don't take long. You're on video, it seems like it's going forever. Okay, and then I like to take I take one stick of butter and I like to grate it in there so it'd be so it get all over it. And I found out if you use cold butter that it makes your biscuits rise more. I don't know why, but maybe somebody who knows the why could write me down in the comments and tell me. Okay, we just take a grater and we grate it. As Susan says, you can pause. Thanks. And she really didn't pause. I see that look on her face. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, I got all the butter grated. And then you just take it and you mix it in. But you know, I've tried to mix it with a spoon. But it seems like it don't work that good. But God gave us hands first. So I go in here and I try to mix it all together and try to make it crumbly. You just try to mix it all in there. Make it look like, look, kind of like little pieces of rice. You mix all the butter in there. And that way, when you cook it, the butter gets in your biscuits and it makes you have good uh, butter biscuits. There you go, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know how Susan does this all the time. She looks so calm when she does this. I get stuttered. You try to make sure you get all the big chunks broke up with your fingers. You know, my mother, she used to take this big old bowl. She had just a special bowl she made for biscuits. And she'd every day, when we had biscuits, she'd muck a little hole in us, a little nest in there. And she'd pour milk in there and do all that. Well, I could never get that to work for me. And so I had to come up with a recipe of my own. So this is the best thing that fits me. So then you take a cup of buttermilk, cold buttermilk, and you pour it in there. Now, the strange thing is, when you get the buttermilk in there, I can't stand that feeling on my hands. So, I take a spoon and mix it up. And sometimes, it takes a little more. Sometimes, it takes a little less. It all depends on how the humidity is. And it looks like today, it's going to take a little more buttermilk. Because you make sure, you don't want it too wet, but you want it moist. new baby bunnies. <clears throat> Maybe Susan will do a video with that, show y'all the new bunnies on this. And that's about the right texture. Let me show y'all what it looks like. See? Okay. Then you take and you grease your pan. Oh, by the way, we got the oven on three, uh, 450. And I've already took and greased my pan. And then here, here's is the fun part to me. You take a spoonful of your mixture and you put it on your, in your flour that you have extra and you roll it out. 
and you have to turn your hand underneath it and you make a pretty round biscuit. That's I can never do. Good with practice. And you just push your fingers underneath it and you turn it with your hand. And you got a pretty biscuit. Okay, we'll be back when I get these all gold out. Okay, here's all my biscuits I made. And if you, I found out if you put them together, they'll rise up more if you have your whole pan full. But today, somehow or another, I didn't come up with enough. And then you take a little vegetable oil, or some people put milk on top, but you brown, put butter or vegetable oil or milk or something on top, and it makes them pretty and brown. And then after you get that all done, you put them in the oven for about 15 minutes or so until they turn golden bell. And remember, we got the oven on 450. And I'll show you when they get done. Be back then. Hey y'all, we're back and, and the biscuits just come out of the oven. They're really hot. You can see they're still smoking in here. See, voila. And they're really, really hot inside. So we're gonna take a fork and open it up so you can see inside of them. Oh, they're so crumbly, and look at all that hot smoke. Ooh, so hot. All right, Susan, come taste. But it's hot. I know, come on. I have to taste your stuff. But I eat these biscuits every day. I know. But you gotta eat one for them. That's right. Eat them all. Eat it all. Now, if you put a little butter on there, some daddy butt syrup, and have you some country fried. What well, about your jam or jam? Oh, yeah. We're going to make some jam today, too. If it stops raining, yes, if it stops raining. We sure are having some weird weather here lately. Are they good? They must be. She's over here smacking her lips. I just don't want to eat biscuits. All right. You forgot the honey. I didn't want honey this time. Yeah, sometimes you can put, put a, a cup of honey in there in your batter when you mix before you mix them together and become honey made biscuits, honey milk butter, buttermilk biscuits. And they're good. They are. This is just plain buttermilk biscuits. They're good too. Yeah. But anyhow, y'all leave a comment in the bottom and don't forget to. She's eating. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that annoying bell, and leave a comment about what you think about my buttermilk biscuits. And maybe the next video, when the babies get a little bigger, she'll show you all the babies. Because right now, the rabbit's new to us, and we're new to him, so we don't, her, and we don't want to mess her up. Feepy. So, yeah, her name's Feepy, and Galaxy had babies. And they look so cute. They're so little pink, a little, little pink and pretty right now. And we thank the four of them. Okay, bye.